welcome to Pitch Roll Y'all. I'm Leo, and today I've got a pretty unusual vehicle to show you. This vehicle is called the Quadra Spider, and basically I'm developing it for use on the moon and vacuum planets, but right now I'm going to play with it on Kerbin because I'm basically I'm too lazy to build a launch vehicle for it. Um, what it does is, in essence, it uses these small engines to give it the ability to hover, using the Mechjeb Translatron tool, which basically uses engines uh, to hover or move up and down at very low velocity, or high velocity if you want, but basically it's for use at low velocity. And you can see there I staged too early, um, so I'm going to revert this. But uh, basically, this vehicle is able to fly around on moons and, well, and even Kerbin, but it's designed to fly around on moons and other vacuum planets and explore without the need for a rover, which they crash a lot and they're just generally a pain, or constant orbiting and deorbiting to land at different sites. And also, in my opinion, it looks really cool. I mean, it looks like a freaking metal spider. Also, this same design can be used to uh, be an orbital transfer vehicle to bring payloads that don't have their own fuel supply up and down from the surface of things. So here you can see I pitched a little bit and gave us a horizontal velocity and I'm messing around with the smart ass flight adjustment system to uh, help keep our heading. So one thing that's very nice about this vehicle is that it's fully capable of stopping itself in midair from a decent horizontal velocity very, very quickly. It swings back and forth a little bit, so if you are using it as a sky crane, you know, I'm not going to be able to keep massive payloads on the bottom and still do that. But then again, this isn't designed to carry massive payloads. It's not, the engines aren't super strong. I'd be putting, most likely if I were going to do that, which I plan to make something that can, I'll be putting either atomic engines or some other kind of high efficiency engine that's fairly powerful from a mod or something on the sides to uh, do that for me. So now it's basically just hovering or, or moving up rather slowly and you can see that bottom fuel tanks almost out so I'm gonna jet when it runs out I'm gonna jettison it and it falls without any assistance it's a, a gravity only separation the explosive bolts fire and it simply drops to the ground and then explodes on the ground as you can see right now, boom, comes right off, no problem. In orbit, it might be more of an issue, but since the entire rest of the vehicle has engines all over it, it's not going to be that much of a problem. And since it is coming from behind, so we're going into a retrograde direction, you'll most likely be burning away from it, unless you're under the influence of gravity, in which case it will fall to the ground. But the top one, which we'll have to jettison also fairly soon, has separatrons on it because it's going up. So it would just sit there on top of your vehicle, making it harder for you to maneuver and having mass, therefore screwing up your thrust weight ratio. Also, Mechjeb, the translatron, cannot really handle having payloads just slung on top without actually being attached to the vehicle. Um, I mean, it can, but it's a pain. Okay, so here we go, that separates, and you can see it actually goes pretty fast because the fuel is the only heavy thing in that entire system, really. So now you can see we're slowed to a hover, and actually, with these engines and these fuel tanks, we're below 50%, even with these fuel tanks almost completely full, when we're hovering. So we can keep up this hover for quite a while, around a minute, 30 or 2 minutes or so, um, and longer if there's a, uh, no atmosphere. So, from here, I turn off SmartAss and I'm pitching a bit, and I'm trying to give us a velocity so that I can see how the landing guidance will fare with this kind of vehicle. Now, I know already that the landing guidance won't like this vehicle for a few reasons. First, it doesn't like vehicles that start landing from an atmosphere, for the most part. Second, it doesn't like vehicles that are bulky like this, and third, it likes one or two big engines, not a bunch of small ones. But here we go, you know, it seems to be slowing us down pretty well. And we're now basically to a hover right above the ground, doing an Armstrong here, just coasting over the ground. 
and it's pulsing the rockets in a really weird way and we're pitching forward. So I turn the HUD off for this and look at this. It just keeps adding to our velocity and boom. So as you can see, it doesn't. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you like m this and more videos because more subscriptions we have, more likes and comments, the more I know what to do and the more I know you guys are enjoying this. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and this is Leo. I'll see you on the next episode of Pitch Roll Y'all. Yeah.